So I've been holding off on making a video on the DJI Osmo Action 2 because there just weren't any concrete leaked rumors at that time. But now I think we've actually got something here. So stick around to the end and uh, obviously make sure you'll hit that like and subscribe button and let's get into the video. What's going on my friends? My name is Jason. I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. That would be absolutely amazing. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Osmo Action 2. So as we've seen, there are a few leaks out there about the DJI Osmo Action 2. Now this one actually seems to be the closest to being real, yet still, we don't know for sure, but we'll go through some of the specs and most importantly, that modularity design. Now modularity is something Insta360 has hit a home run with and that is pretty much the pro of the Insta360 action camera, uh, and I really didn't like it at all. It's it was fake over sharpening. The colors just weren't really great, and the process of getting stable footage just killed me because you had to go through another program. And uh, what GoPro is doing is uh, they're just improving the last version with small amounts each year. That just is not enough. DJI are making things innovative and better each time. Now taking that modularity of the Insta360 action camera and the versatility of the Insta360 Go 2, while well, you can actually mount it on a chain. If you can see by this image right here, it is incredible and it's giving the image quality of like the Pocket 2. So it's rumored to have a larger 1 over 1.7 inch sensor, which is pretty much the same size as the Pocket 2. But the Pocket 2 is a 64 megapixel sensor. This is going to be about a 12 megapixel sensor. So hopefully it'll give us those larger photo sites on that sensor, which will give us better low light performance. Now, instead of going that higher 5K or 6K resolution, they've stuck with 4K 120, which you know I'm perfectly fine with. I guarantee this is going to be much better image quality than uh, that 5.3K or is it 5.7K? 5.3, I think it's 5.3, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, it's uh, instead of improving all these resolutions, just improve 4K, make it the best looking 4K possible. Now it does have 100 megabits per second, which does have me concerned because I'm assuming it's still only eight bit color. I mean, imagine if they could cram 10 bit color into this thing, that would be just incredible. Because I know the, uh, the Mavic 2 Pro does 10 bit color. Why can't this have 10 bit color? I, it's still rumors. Once again, I really thought there was going to be 10-bit color in this potentially, uh, but we soon shall see anyway. So in terms of the recording modes, it's gonna have 4K 120, it's gonna have your uh, 1080 at 240 frames per second. It's also got your uh, quick and slow motion, which gives you slowed uh, down footage within the camera, which generally is lower bit rate and doesn't look as good, but you can view it in real time in slow motion. So it gives you that 4K 120, 2.7K 120, and 1080 at 240 frames per second. Now. Just wanted to do a little bit of a quick shout out to Mike from Get Busy Living. Uh, you're doing great. Go over there to his channel. He does a whole bunch of reviews and leaked videos like this. Uh, and he's just a brother from over the river, ocean. He's from New Zealand, from Australia. We're pretty much the same thing. Uh, so go over to his channel and uh, yeah, just tell him I sent you. So yeah, back into the video. So is this a camera that you will actually buy? Please let me know in the comments below. I really would like to know your thoughts. Did you actually buy the Hero 10 as well? Or you're waiting for another Insta360 camera coming out? Yeah, let me know in the comments below. So we all know that the biggest downside to GoPros and other action cameras is pretty much that low light performance because as soon as you take these things indoors, the image quality starts to break down and it really does hurt. Whereas the Pocket 2 does just that little bit better because it has that bigger sensor and just, you know, much better quality from that sensor and lens combination. Now the field of view is much larger with 155 degrees. Uh, that is pretty wide. Um, so I'm assuming they're gonna have like your standard wide angle view and maybe like a linear view as well. Uh, it does have a rear touch screen as well, which is a 1.76 inch, I think it was. Uh, so it's pretty small, but nonetheless, uh, Pocket 2, look at the size of the Pocket 2 screen. Yeah, that's small. But I would assume that you would actually be able to uh, connect this to your phone as well, so you can you know, monitor it through that. But it's an action camera, come on. It's not meant to be like a large DSLR screen. Now, I believe DJI are going in the right direction with this, and I feel like this is going to be a massive seller, mainly because of the versatility. Now, this is super small, and uh, 
I mean, this can be mounted on their P FPV drones for better image quality than what the FPV drones already offer. That is pretty cool. Having that modularity actually means you'll be able to attach a big battery pack at the bottom as well, so it gives you longer lasting performance uh, and potentially be able to control the heat better because you know it's a lot of the times it's the battery that actually heats up and causes those uh, heat problems within the the, uh, the body because you know you have such a small body. Uh, you even have the GoPro Hero 10. Some people having overheating issues, which. Yeah, it's pretty difficult. I did a poll on my YouTube uh, community and I said, are you gonna buy the GoPro Hero 10? Yes, no, or odds my action too. And majority of the, I think it was 800 votes said no. They're not gonna buy it. Um, especially because they said number nine actually uh, turned them off it. They bought a dud. You know, I've got the number nine. Uh, I do have the number 10 going only just for you guys so I can compare them to other cameras and see how this uh, actually performs. But yeah, I really think DJI are doing a great job and I absolutely hope it's going to be true with this one. That modularity design is absolutely fabulous. How you can actually build it from the bottom, uh, it does look like with the bottom piece, the battery pack, you can attach it out outwards as well. Uh, you've got this swivel mount that you can put on the bottom as well. Uh, so there's gonna be a whole bunch of mounting options there and I'm assuming you'll have your basic uh, finger mount like you do with your GoPros. Uh, that you can attach these to. So, what do you guys think? Uh, comment below, I'd really like to know your thoughts. Um, yeah, DJI are doing some fabulous things with the Mavic 3 Pro Cine, uh, the DJI Osmo Action 2, and a uh, professional camera that you guys don't know about. <laughs> anyway, better zip my mouth. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, let's get it.